Hello, my people. It's your Brendan from Texas Nate. Hey, um, we went to an amazing place today called Texas Frightmare. Um, it is a, one of the biggest horror conventions in the world, and I did not shoot one thing there. And they're like, why, Nate? You're a YouTuber. You're supposed to. There's just too many people. I mean, it was elbow to elbow, butt cheek to butt cheek almost in that place. And I mean, trying to record is just, it was too hard. Um, and then for me also, I wanted to just enjoy my time as well. So, um, got to go see some great people there. Um, during this time, they had the, the, the cast of Scream, Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, they had Lance Henriksen. Um, they had, you know, so many, so many people here. It was crazy how many people were here. Um, they even had the new Leatherface uh, from the new movie um, was there as well. So it was a great time. I was only able to go on Sunday. So I went in, you know, knowing what I wanted to do. I got, you know, the autographs I wanted to get, got the shopping done I wanted to do, and then uh, turned around and went to my comic store. So yeah, this video today is just an unboxing and haul video. That's all it is. So I hope you guys enjoy. So let me show you what, what I did get from Texas Frightmare. And I'll start with the uh, two comics. So um, can't go to a convention without buying a couple of comics, right? Even if it is a horror convention. Um, these are from a new writer and artist. Um, his name is Sean Gaborn. Now he's worked with Dan Mendoza over at Still Ill Princess and those kind of places before so we got to talk him for a while um today and anyway, he was really nice to talk to and then so he had a couple of these convention exclusives and i'm like hey let me grab a couple of those because i want to support my independent writers and artists and them because they're just starting out so hey you never know you know they could be the next jim lee you know i said hey I, you remember that time we went to texas frightened to go yeah you know you know you never know it just it can happen so what we got was and these are both black and white too, which is what I like too. This little piggy. And then, let's all die. <laughs> um, so, uh, like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read these and see how they are. Um, these are from Handwritten Entertainment is the company from them. So it's a new one to me. Um, and I like new stuff. You know, it's like I didn't know anything about Stranger Comics until I, I you know i started reading them as well so definitely we got those so thank you sean all right now when i was there of course you got to get something when you go there i ended up getting the freddy you know 2022 texas frightmare so i had to get something I had to get a patch i wanted a shirt but didn't want to pay that price for it um so I went to Vinegar Syndrome. So they had everything there. Vinegar Syndrome, Arrow was there, Severin was there. So it was so nice um, to see actual, these stores in a place and able to actually buy from them. Because usually you can only buy from them online or through Amazon or things like that. And usually they're always sold out. So what I got, is flesh eater and this is um bell hensman this of course is the original zombie that was in night of the living dead this is the 4k remaster um on four i never thought i'd see this on 4k but it's here um and then i got this doesn't have a slip case but silent madness in 3d and it's a you know it's a two disc set so it's got a 3d version and the 2d version so definitely wanted to add these two to my collection because uh, I like those. I've seen them before. Okay. And then, of course, I had to go to Saturday. They had some great deals, like five or 75, eight, you know, and stuff like that. Um, it was nuts. I wish I had unlimited phones, but I don't. Um, but I did get five. And what we get, Dario Gento, the wax mask. Definitely had to get this one. Um, this is one of the last ones that was missing from the Argento series. 
So definitely want to, you know, because I mean, this is a big one because this is the one with Dario Argento and Lucia Fulci before he passed away, you know, during the production of this. So definitely was glad. And I'm glad they had the slipcase version. Okay, they, this one I just bought on a whim. I really did. I like the artwork. It's Killer Crocodile and it comes with Killer Crocodile 2. You know, this is a special edition. Uh, I don't know if it's how long it's going to be in stock, but I was like, hey, let me grab that one. Um, we got the Black Cat. This is from Luigi Cuzzi. You know, this has Carolyn Monroe in it. Um, these are some of the old stuff. This is the 2K version. Now, this is unofficially part of the Three Mothers kind of trilogy. Um, and then part of Demons as well, because... In Italy, it was it was actually released as Demon Six, um, so yeah. But I remember watching this one a long time ago. Okay. Now this is an old school one. This is Tales of the Uncanny. This is a documentary actually with all the old old people like Greg Nicotero, Joe Dante, Eli Roth, Tom Sabini. Um, and these guys, they were, they were all there. So it's, I wanted to get this and it's kind of cool just to see like an anthology because you don't get those that often. And then last one I got was Night of the Demon. Um, you definitely, definitely got to remember these old school, you know, Bigfoot movies. So definitely was happy to get this one. And that was not it. So. The whole reason I went to there today, we'll get to that in a minute. I do want to give a big shout out to uh, a friend I met, I made there today. Uh, he's a sworn member. His name is uh, Willie Pete. Willie Pete, um, me and him got to talking a little bit. You know, of course, he coin checked me, you know, being part of the sworn. And of course, I had mine on me. So, no free drinks. Um, on me, but it was nice to meet him and his family today, and it's great to start meeting more of the sworn um, out there and the old cyber fiends from the days of chaos. So nice to meet you, Willie. This is the reason why I went. I wanted to go see Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the cast and crew that was there. Now I know, of course, you know Gunnar Hansen and Marilyn Burns have passed away a long time ago, so there's no way I can get those signatures. But Lord, they had almost everybody else there. Um, and that's what we did today. So we got today, Kim Hinkle. He's the writer, you know, that wrote it with Toby Hooper. I of course got Ed O'Neill, the hitchhiker. I got Alan Danzinger, the, who was Jerry. I got Terry McMinn, who was Pamela. Of course, I had to get Grandpa, John Dugan. And then I got Kirk, uh, William Vale. And then, of course, the last one I get was Ed Gein. And he's actually the the truck driver who threw the wrench at Leatherface, causing him to cut his leg. Um, this was so cool to get. And then um, talking to, to Terry as well, uh, she gave me a card as well. So thank you, Terry. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Um, super nice people. Um, got to go to their Q&A a little bit uh, later, where Kim talked about um, Lou Perryman, who was part of the you know part of Texas Chainsaw One, Two. He had some other movies as well. Not a huge actor, but like if you saw him, you know who he was. Um, and it was kind of a documentary about his life. Um, went through a lot, you know, and it was cool to see like the good stuff, the bad stuff, um, and then there's of course tragedy at the end for Lou. Um, but well written. And it was a very nice document. I definitely will be buying that when it comes out. So thank you, Texas Frightmare, and everybody that was there. It was an awesome experience. Can't wait to see you guys again next year. All right. Now, with that being said, we do have some boxes. So let's take a look. This one comes from Amazon UK. Yes, UK. Let's see, what do they say? Let's see if it's not damaged. Coming from across the pond, and guess what? Uh, not too bad. Just opened up a little bit. 
we got ourselves Henry the 4K uh, Ultra HD Box Limited Edition. Now, this, of course, is with Michael Rooker, Tracy Arnold. Um, I remember watching this a long, long time ago. Um, and what's cool is, it's like, there's a 4K, and then there's the Blu-ray version as well. And then another Blu-ray of bonus features. So, this is, like I said, this is coming from Amazon Japan, but this is Arrow. All right. All right, now, everything else is comics. So if you don't want to don't want to see no more comics, I understand, but there's some goodies in here. There's some goodies. All right, um, the one thing I did want to talk about too is my favorite artist um, from the classic era had passed away this last week. So rest in peace, Neil Adams. Um, if everybody knows I'm a huge Neil Adams fan. Um, always have been, always will be. I'm a huge Don McTeague fan for current modern stuff. Um, but it was so sad, you know, when I heard that he had passed this week. Because I've got to meet Neil several times. Went to his store down in L.A. a couple of times as well and got to meet up with him. Super great dude. New comics in and out. He knew our community, you know. Um, I got to meet him and Denny O'Neill once together. And Dick Giordano was there as well. Um, and it was such a blessing to sit down and he'll talk your ear off all day, but it's a great thing to hear because I mean, he, he is just one of those great guys. So rest in peace, Neil. Um, so with that being said, I was at my comic shop today. I'm like, Hey, let me see if they have anything with Neil Adams. And of course they had a couple, not much, but I ended up picking up dead man. Number one, the old 80 series. Um, one of my series that actually I liked a lot of people didn't, but he did ramble a little bit, um, was Batman Odyssey. This is number one. I have the hardcover as well. And then Batman versus Ra's al Ghul. So I wanted to pick up a couple just for him. So like I said, rest in peace, Neil, and my prayers with you and your family. Um, be blessed. Okay. Now course um my comics they don't get often in so i usually check in about once a month with my comic shop so it's because they just don't carry a lot because they don't you know they don't have a lot to come up and it's because the coffin only does so much so we have the regular cover cataclysmic majesty this is number two of two okay this is the sun k cover all right and then we have the Jose Boris enticer cover. Actually, that was number one of one of two. This is two of two. This is an Ortiz. And then the last one, I got lucky. Last copy they had. Don McTee from a Living Defamation, number two. So was able to snatch all those up today, and I was so happy. They had some good stuff today. And like I said, that's my comic shop, Cosmic Comics. If you're in the Arlington area, go check them out, 100%. All right. Next package from Mark Publishing. Oh, my Lord. I was wondering if this, this is like three months delayed. Um, so we got goodies. So, okay, nothing else. Okay, so this is the Born of Blood series, so all the Kickstarter goodies. Oh, yeah, I've, I've been waiting on this one for a while. I'm saving this last big box for last. Because that came from a friend as well. Okay. It is the 
Born of Blood cover. Cover gallery. That is cool. I didn't know we were actually getting that. I love this blue tank. It makes life so much easier. It just it keeps it together, but then it's easy to take off. Okay. And what I went with was the um, Sorosan versions. So we got the retail copy. The Virgin, the alternate cover. And then the hollow foil Virgin. And then for my buddy, Frank, who's on. Frank, I had to get your cover too, brother. So thank you, man. Thank you for being part of that Kickstarter. So yeah, that is the Born of Blood Kickstarter for this year. All right, now on to the last box of the night. Now, this is coming from a good friend of mine, uh, Carmen Sakara from the Swarm Nation. Um, she had some books and she always hits me up usually and she knows it's things I want and I appreciate that. Um, and so I was like, yeah, let me see that. And she just starts making a pile. Um, like a lot of people do actually for me. Um, ended up, you know, just working through it. And then she kept finding more and more and more. And I'm like, okay, keep them cool. And so I, we got to a point like, okay, uh, let's get at least one box out. <laughs> And that's what we did. Uh, we we worked this one together, got this together. She had to wait on the box itself to get there because she needed the actual um, box to ship this to me. So and I appreciate her. And like I said, if you didn't have a chance yet, go check out my giveaway. Um, it's going to go for two weeks. It's going for two weeks, man. Um, and everybody, anybody can be part of it. All right. Let's see how she do it this time. It's always good about tape. And she don't fly. Yeah, but. She always does, she puts these little, is she does this little pull tap. She makes it easy. And that's why I love this tape. It's it's easy to use and it comes off. And you don't have to worry about it jacking up anything. And, you know, so I, I recommend all, all comic people. Do this. Makes a lot easier. Okay. Let's 
Yeah, buddy. So we've got White Widow number five in particular. We got Red Sonia. These are Sabines, so that's why I got these. Okay, we've got a Minx Cyberpunk. This was the uh, Kickstarter edition. And then we've got Bell, Ghosts and Goblins from CB. Okay, from Ebass. Yes, Ebass. This is the collectible cover of Icons. Okay. And then we also got Alice in Wonderland, another EVAS. Of course, another EVAS, Rob of War. All right. And then we've got Queen Turner, Vampirella. And then we got a Mendoza, another Queen. And this is issue 56, C, Artist Variant, of Zombie Train from Dan Mendoza. So yeah, definitely one of these ones. All right, one more to go. So yeah, that's why I like for these kind of videos. I like doing these with by myself. Comics take a while. Because not everybody is a fan of comics. People are toy people. Some people are media people. Some people just like toy hunting. Um, and I aim to please each and every time. So I kind of give them a little mixture of what they want. So, that's why we do what we do, people. That's why I do this, because I like having fun with y'all. And I hope you guys have fun. All right. Oh. All right. That's a little tight. I can always use that from later. Good. Right. We're almost done, people. It's been a great day. I hope you all have been having fun with me today. I know I've had a lot of stuff coming out because there's always something going on. Okay. I'll just start from here. Oh, yeah. Elias Chaotis, this is the VIP birthday cover. Another Elias, this is the VIP. And another Elias, Red Agent. All right, so now we're getting to some other ones. Make sure I think they're They both actually relax. Then we've got the Sun K Vampirella versus uh, Purgatory. The Sora Sun Kickstarter for Yuli's Vision. All right. Now the rest of these are all Dawn. And these are uh, Divinica number four. This is number three. This is the Pearl Linen. And then we've got another number three. This is actually signed by J.P. Roth. The alternate cover. 
And then the last alternate cover for issue number five from Dawn. So, big thank you. Thank you so much, Karma, for all these. Thank you for the good deals on these. Um, and that's it, folks. Thank you, Merck, for the great time. Like I said, you know, of course, a big shout out to Texas Frightmare and to all the people there. Thank you guys for an amazing time today. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing today. I hope you enjoyed the haul. There's a lot more to come in the future. And like I said, in less than two weeks, we'll be giving away not just one, but bringing away two prizes. So next, maybe next weekend, I'll show you what prize number two is. All right. All right. You guys take it easy and have a good one. All right. All right. All right.